Hello everybody, here's my mama and she's going to be making her old fashioned uh, bologna salad for y'all today. And she's going to be using this uh, new sandwich spread that y'all been sending her since it's uh, old fashioned. That's one of the ingredients that she used whenever she was a little kid. Yeah, that's right. But anyway, I took bologna right here and I um, put it in my grinder and ground it up real fine. And I put a, a little bit of onion, just a little piece of onion in it. It makes it taste better. And then I use uh, sweet relish. Here. Sweet relish. And I pour it in there. I use the whole jar because it's a little jar. And I stir it up. I'm making it for, um, well, for us to eat too, but. Uh, they're having a women's meeting at a church, and they asked me to uh, bring some bologna salad. So I told them I would. So I'm fixing it tonight, and then you set it in the refrigerator, and it'll all season together and taste better when it's cold. But uh, bologna salad's good. I love it. Yeah, Mom used to fix this all the time. They used to fix it for shirts. Everything that you had, they used to fix it. Too. And this is what they used. They used the mayonnaise. But I'm gonna put the cheese in now. Here's the cheese I, I use. You can use American if you want to. Um, the sliced cheese and cut it up like I showed y'all before. But it's a lot easier doing this. Just stick it in there and stir it up. You don't have to do all that cutting like I did last time on the last one that I done. Uh, if you look on the video or the playlist, it says all videos, non-shorts. You'll see her other recipe there where she uses a regular mayonnaise instead of this stuff. Yeah. And she cuts up the cheese herself. Yeah. Sorry we've been so long about doing stuff, but uh, I've been to the doctor several times and my legs got real bad and I had to go to the doctor. They was itching me and breaking out real bad. And uh, so I had to go to the doctor. Me and Corey had to go and we went and got some t-shirts and stuff to, we wanting to do that giveaway. Is that what you call it, Corey, a giveaway? Yeah. And uh, so we're going to be trying doing that this week um, to uh, draw some names. Since y'all being so good to us. <laughs> yeah, as soon as we get the shirts in and stuff that we're having made, then we'll we'll give away aprons and shirts and stuff. And the mayonnaise, you just put in there how much you like the sandwich bread. It's not mayonnaise this time; it's sandwich bread. And I've already fixed some and tasted it, and it's it's what I what Mom used to fix. That was the sandwich bread. And I ain't never seen none of it around here, so I don't know if there's some around here or not. Corey and uh, Milton does most of my shopping for me anymore because uh, I get down in my hips. Yeah, we went to church tonight. They're having a revival right down the road here, and we've been going, and they've been having a real good service. And it's supposed to go on to Sunday. So. But that's. This is about it right here. Yeah, we got all kinds of good gifts today. And I just love that rooster. That somebody sent me. And uh, I put all your names on what you sent me. And in there. Okay. There we have it. That's what it'll look like afterwards. Yeah, and it is good. That's an old-fashioned recipe. Yeah, that's what they used to fix years ago for everything they had. Any kind of party they had, you had bologna salad. Bologna salad and chips is what they had. You know, now they kind of go a little bit bigger than that, don't they? Let me see if I can get me a piece of bread over here. Uh, I always just put it on the bread and make a sandwich out of it. Yeah. Some people eat it with like crackers or something like that. Yeah. So. If y'all are still watching out this part, make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll try to uh, our best to be back on here more often now since we got everything taken care of. Here's my bread. Put a little bit on it. Or you could use crackers wherever you want to use. But it is good. Just fold it up like that. 
Mm. And you could yeah. add a little bit of salt and pepper to it if you wanted it salty or whatever. Or you could add hot sauce. Sometimes I put hot sauce on there or, or hot chips and I smash the chips on there mm. and it makes it spicy. Yeah, you can put chips on here, but it's good. Or just plain uh, Lay's chips is perfect yeah. with it. Yeah, I like the plain Lay's chips with mine, but yep, it's good. You'll have to fix your something. So we got all kinds of gifts today, so Corey's going to show them to you, and then I'll read some to you. I know it's been a while, but we're going to try to catch up since we got all our doctor appointments. Oh. <laughs> the first thing I'll show is uh, Mama's birthday cake. It's for tomorrow, but she already got it today. It's a chocolate chip, Give my flowers, Milton, chocolate me. cookie cake. Yeah. It says happy birthday, Margaret. And here's what my honey got me. <laughs> we'll get in here. What, what, what are you doing? Yeah. That was part of her birthday present. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Papa spoils her with her flowers. <laughs> he knows I like flowers. And I thank y'all for all the gifts you've been sending me for my birthday and the cards and the stuff you put in the cards. I appreciate it. Y'all just so good to us. I just, I can't get over how good people are. You know, I love y'all. I, I really thank y'all for this. And here's some of the stuff. There's two shirts. It says, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme. Ephesians 6.11 I have a necklace and a, a pin and a bunch of other things that all say the same thing. It says put on the full armor of God. So I got like a bracelet that says that, a necklace, and just all kinds of stuff that has that on there. So I'll definitely be wearing that. I'll wear these to, shirt, to church. It's got three nails. It says one cross, three nails, equals four given. And this come with it too. This come with the two shirts. It says, normal isn't coming back, Jesus is. Revelations 14. And I'll definitely be wearing this too. Anytime it's hot out, I'll wear this. And here's a meat smasher and a chopper thing to mash up the meat with. But she just got one of these recently the other day and it, she talks about in one of the videos how she loves it so much. But this yeah. one looks a little bit nicer than the one that she bought. So I'm sure she'll start using this one soon. And she just got scissors the other day too. She was saying that she needed <laughs> that's a kitchen scissors. scissors. That's kitchen scissors there. Yeah. It says utility shears. But I know for sure she'll definitely be using these too. Yeah. We cut my chickens and stuff up with them. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a really cool uh, something for milk or like a tea or something. It's like a little pot and you... You put the liquid in there, and then you pour it out. Here's the handle with yes, his tail, and you pour it out of his mouth. <laughs> we'll use that for tea or something, because we drink a lot of tea. Somebody sent this, Wisconsinopoly, yeah, from Wisconsin. grandkids, she said, and Corey to play games with. Somebody sent this chicken pitcher with this uh, fabric. I guess it's to make a apron. an apron or something with. They didn't say. It's got all kinds of soup and bowls and garlic and stuff. It says chicken soup. It's got the recipe on there. Yeah. And the red bowls got roosters on them. Then it's nice. It was really nice. I didn't even notice the roosters until just now. Yeah. And it's got these rubber handles so it don't burn. You could put it in the oven and you could bake these in the oven. It's like a casserole dish and the, the rubber don't get hot. And as soon as she seen this, she said, oh, I was looking to get one of those. She's been looking for one of these for a while now, and she hasn't been able to find it. And somebody sent her one. It's like a big magnifying glass, and it's got a light on it. Yeah. So I know she'll be using that, because they're always complaining about how the words are too small in the Bible, and they always got to have their glasses before they can read. <laughs> I might just use that. Let's see what it does. And then here's this thing. Papa was already talking about how he needs a new one of these because their other one is really old. And th as soon as they got it, they opened it, they started using it and testing it out. And they already used it a couple times. So 
So whoever sent that, it was a great gift for Papa. Mama uses it too sometimes. And here's a lotion and this essential oil or shea butter. Yeah, Mama used to get these all the time, but I haven't seen her get any in a while, so I know she'll be using these for sure. Yeah. And the lotion, Papa always uses lotion because his uh, ankle gets dried out where it was, he had an accident in the mines a long time ago. And his ankle, he puts a lotion and stuff on it because it's always hurting real bad. And here's some woman's multivitamins. Yeah, we've been looking for them too. Yeah, they get these all the time, but sometimes they just can't find them. So I know they'll definitely be using yeah, these. We've done been using them. We took one today. <laughs> and here's this that goes with uh, this shea butter and the lotion and the multivitamins. It's for like when you're in the shower, it does all these things. And it's like a scrubbing brush and a callus remover and stuff. It just goes with all that stuff. And here's a whole box of elbow macaroni because we had in one of the videos we couldn't find any macaroni uh, or elbow pasta. So we had to open up some macaroni packs and use it out of the macaroni packs. And I guess somebody's seen that video. They sent us a whole box of these. We appreciate it too. Yeah, we'll definitely be using those yeah, in some of the videos. And here's all the cards. It says happy birthday, happy birthday. And our birthday is tomorrow. Yeah. And there's a picture of somebody said it's the one of the world's smallest bobbles. Here's a letter, personal letter. These was didn't have a card in it or nothing. We wasn't gonna show those. We took the cards out of one of them. Right yeah, there. so these might be the cards that was in yeah, those ones. Yeah, it, was. it says a sweet birthday. You are wished all God's best on your birthday and always. Yeah, I got about four or five birthday cards today. And I appreciate them. I thank y'all. Uh, she loves reading all y'all's cards and everything. And this is for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. The new subscribers or new viewers, here's the P.O. box. In case y'all want to send something, we'll show it here. We'll display it on the table and for one of the videos. That way y'all see y'all's gift on the video and we'll use it in the videos because she uses all her stuff that y'all send her. Like that ball right there was something that somebody sent and that measuring cup. She uses everything that y'all send to her. So if y'all want to send something, we'll use it on the video and we'll show it on the video. And the PayPal at the bottom, that's just for the uh, new subscribers or new viewers and mainly for the people in the comments that requested us to make a paypal so we made a paypal since y'all requested it did you show them my blanket no not yet i was gonna let you hold it up and show it here's a cool chicken blanket that she got y'all done got about two of these and we're all claiming them i said this one's mine <laughs> so everybody's got a chicken blanket it says life is better with chickens and that's true yeah, she loves her chickens. If there's any new subscribers that's watching and y'all don't know yet, she loves her chickens. Yeah. That's why everybody sends her chicken stuff like this yeah. and this. Love my chickens. And the last blanket's a uh, Papa. She gave them to Papa, and she said that one is for her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now Mama's going to read a little bit, a couple of verses for y'all. Yeah. It's uh, about 9 o'clock in, in the night. We just got back from church. And uh, we decided to put this on because it's been a while since we done it. We've been busy, 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 you know, but it's slowed down now. So we're going to try to get back to y'all. So y'all just bear with us. But uh, then maybe tomorrow night or tomorrow, uh, Papa will read something with us. But anyway, we're going to be talking about being doers of the word. And I'm in uh, St. Matthew, the uh, seventh chapter starting with the 21st verse. It says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of the Father which is in heaven. That's what we have to do. We have to do what uh, God asks us to do. we got to be obedient to him when he tells us to go do something. We have to be obedient. You know, we have to do the will of God uh, if we're going to make it into heaven. It says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, 
and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that worketh iniquity. Yeah, some people out there, they think they can go to church, pretend, you know, and uh, that they're serving the Lord and then go out in the world and do other things. Uh, they're not fooling nobody but yourself. God sees all and knows all. So we need to be a true and faithful servant to God um, because he knows our hearts. It says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will like him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain uh, descended, and the floods came, and the wind blew, and beat up on that house, and it fell not, for it was founded up on the rock. And what is the rock? Our Lord Jesus Christ. He always takes care of us. You know, no matter what we go through, he's there with us, and he'll take us through it. He's the rock that we stand on, you know, and he's always true and faithful to us. So we need to be true and faithful to him. So uh, when y'all get a chance to go to church or uh, read your word or talk to the Lord, God, God honors that. He loves to hear you talking to him and praying to him. And I do, uh, we pray every night for y'all, you know, for the ones that send us um, their names and what's going on with them. And uh, we ask the Lord to take care of you because he will. And the lady just, just got out of the hospital. I'm glad you're out. Uh, men have been praying for you. And I seen uh, where your husband brought you some flowers. And I think it was your daughter. But uh, I love y'all. And I thank y'all for everything. And I want God to bless y'all. So uh, we'll try to see you tomorrow if the Lord's willing. Y'all have a good night. Talk to the Lord. Uh, the rock that she was talking about, and then she said that Jesus is the rock. If you stand on the rock, you'll have a solid foundation, and you'll Amen. be able to stay up. But if you don't stand on the rock, you're going to sink, and you're going to fall. So you got to stand on the rock. Amen. Sounds like a preacher, don't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to take after my mom and papa. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much again and again for everything you all do for us. It yeah. really means a lot. And if you all want to tune into the next video tomorrow, that would be awesome. And uh, it's going to have Little Miss Mama's granddaughter in there and she's going to open the presents that y'all sent to her somebody sent her a gift and it's wrapped so we're going to let her open it on the video yeah if y'all want to tune into that she'll be tickled to death <laughs> thank, thank y'all so much again god bless you